I'm Jason Bovada, and these are my 2023 NFL Week 1 picks. Okay, so it is currently Friday, June 30th, 2023, about 3 p.m., um, and we're going to go over our NFL Week 1 picks. I'm probably just going to do a teaser because um, the NFL season is still, like, what, about two months away, so we have no idea what's going to happen in training camp or the preseason, who gets injured, who doesn't get injured, who's starting for most of these teams. So I'm just going to do a teaser bet as far as which teams I think are going to win and just try to move some of these lines in my favor, right? So the first game for the NFL Week uh, 1 will be the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Detroit Lions. Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl champions at home, getting giving seven points. Detroit Lions, they covered a lot of points um, a lot of point spreads last season. Um, but I feel like Kansas City should win this game. I, w- I would be shocked, to say the least, if Kansas City lost this game. So I'm going to take Kansas City minus seven, and I'll probably tease the line maybe seven, eight points. But like I said, it's a teaser, so I'm not going to take minus seven. I'm just going to move that line in my favor. Um, the next game will be the Arizona Cardinals versus the Washington Commanders. These are two teams that I just... I'm like I'm I'm not gonna bet on. I, I have no reason to bet on those two teams, so I'm just gonna stay away from that game. The next game will be the Carolina Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons. I'm a fan of the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons at home, Carolina. They're going through quarterback changes, so I'm gonna go with Atlanta Falcons minus three. I'll tease that line in my favor. I feel like Atlanta should win that game. Um, you know, my first two bets I would probably um, parlay the Kansas City Chiefs with the Atlanta Falcons. I'll probably do something like that on a money line. I like both of the home two home teams winning that game, so I'm going to tease both of those lines in my favor. The next game will be the Cincinnati Bengals versus the um, Cleveland Browns. Cincinnati Bengals started the season last year pretty bad, right? And the Browns, they they weren't good at all last season. Um, because this is a teaser, I'm going to tease the um, Cincinnati Bengals to plus points. Um, so even if they do lose, you know, we'll have a few points for them to lose by maybe up to six points. I, like I said, this teaser may be about eight points. So minus two and a half, we may get like seven points, maybe six points or maybe even five points. I can't count. Uh, the next game will be the Baltimore Ravens versus the Houston Texans. Um, Baltimore Ravens sign Lamar Jackson, sign um, Oda Belkham Jr., um, Houston Texans, they got the new quarterback, Will Shroud, start this season. You know, if he starts for the Houston Texans on the road versus the Baltimore Ravens, I don't think that's going to be good. But I don't love giving that many points with the Baltimore Ravens. So, obviously, I want to tease that line down to maybe minus uh, one and a half. Like I said, this may be an eight-point teaser, maybe even a nine-point teaser because the Ravens are a part of it now. The next game will be the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Indianapolis Colts. Obviously, I'm going to jump pretty heavy on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars had a very great season last year. They won a playoff game. I think they're they're probably they're better this season, right? They got the coach, they got the quarterback. I like Jacksonville Jaguars. I would probably on most lines, I'm probably going to take Jacksonville Jaguars on a money line. But for this bet, because we're going to tease this line about eight points, nine points in our direction, I'm going to take the Jags minus four to make it maybe like plus four or plus five because it's going to be a teaser. Next game will be the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Denver Broncos. Um... There's too much going on with these two teams. I don't I I don't know how anyone could trust the Denver Broncos to, you know, minus three and a half points. How many games did they win last season? They were one of the worst teams of all last season. And the Raiders, they lost a lot of important players, right? Waller, Carr, I don't you know, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is their quarterback, but I don't really know. So truthfully, I'm just gonna stay away from that game, right? Wait for the preseason, wait till we get some confirmation on who's playing quarterback for the Raiders, who's playing tight end for the Raiders. But for the most part, I don't like the Denver Broncos this season. I didn't like them last season. I'm going to try to bet against them most of the season. But, you know, week one, I I just want to see where both teams are at. It's not a great game to bet on. San Francisco 49ers minus two and a half versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. 
I'm going to tease the 49ers, right? I don't love this bet. I have to admit, I don't love this bet. Pittsburgh Steelers, um, Tomlin has never been under 500 in a season. 49ers, they have, you know, I mean, they have the offense, they have the defense, but who is their quarterback, right? All of their quarterbacks were basically ended the season. You know, I'm not trying to laugh at them, but basically everybody on the quarterback ended the season on the injury report, right? And then they also lost Jimmy Garoppolo, who was also injured. But um, Nance, I don't know. Is he the quarterback? I have no idea. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I still think the 49ers are a good enough team um, to maybe lose this game by less than five, six points. So because it's a teaser, I probably wouldn't be taking the 49ers minus two and a half right now. Um because like I said, I don't know who the quarterback is. But once we get closer to the um the game, you know, it would be easier to flush out this line. But because this is a teaser, um, I don't think the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers are going to beat the 49ers by like 10 points. So, you know, I'll tease the line in my favor, maybe get six points, maybe get five points or something like that, plus five points for like the 49ers or something like that. Next game will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Minnesota Vikings. I feel like I have to very easily just um, tease the Minnesota Vikings. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they don't have a quarterback. They have a lot of problems ever since um, Brady left, um, you know, the backup quarterbacks in that situation is not really good. You know, a lot of players left the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Minnesota Vikings, they're a tough team to beat, right? Especially at home. If this if this game was on the road, I wouldn't necessarily trust this as much. This is an early game, one of the early games of NFL Week 1. You see it's a 10 a.m., not a prime time. Um, Kirk Cousins doesn't have to worry about the prime time lights on him. So I think minus uh, six and a half. If I tease this line, eight points, uh, maybe even nine points, I think we'll probably do like a nine points. I'll probably get plus two points, two and a half points, or plus three points. I have no idea. I can't count um, when it comes to plus um, points. So I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings and tease that line in my favor. Next game will be the Tennessee Titans versus the New Orleans Saints. Um, these two teams, it's too much up in the air. The line is only minus three and a half. I, I, I do like the um, New Orleans Saints. Um, Especially at home, they are extremely, extremely tough team to beat at home. But Derrick Henry could put a problem. He could be a problem NFL Week 1 um, versus this Saints defense. So even though this is a teaser, I'm just going to skip this game. Like The one thing you have to do, listen, I could get all these bets wrong, but there's some games where I don't have an edge. It's just like I don't, not that I don't care, but... I don't have an edge in this bet. I would just be taking a bet for no reason. You know, I don't necessarily like either team. So, you know, these are probably two teams I'm going to bet on, you know, the least next season. Um, but so I'm going to just stay away from that game. Next game will be the um, Green Bay Packers getting two and a half points versus the Chicago Bears. Look at the Chicago Bears, man. This is This is a tough game to take, right? This is a tough game to take because what do the Green Bay Packers look like with Jordan Love? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, the Chicago Bears, not the greatest team, but uh, I believe didn't they beat the Green Bay Packers last season? I can't remember. I cannot remember. I thought they did. They may have beaten the Packers last season. Either way, it's a division game, Week One. I'm just gonna st another game. Just gotta stay away from. Um, I would say I like the Packers, right? Especially plus points already. If I can tease it and get like seven, eight points, it'll be plus 10 points for the Packers. But if Jordan Love is not that good, I remember, I think the first game he played for the Packers was versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And it wasn't the greatest performance, but I'm just like, well, he's playing the Kansas City Chiefs, right? That's that's not an easy, you know, you're setting the bar versus basically like championship material. So, um I don't think Jordan Love is that bad to lose by like 10 points on the road to the Chicago Bears. But if he is, I don't want to take that bet. So I'll just skip that, right? Because it's just like, it's going to, it's just, it could be a disaster. So I'll just skip that game. The next game will be the Los Angeles Rams versus the Seattle Seahawks. Oh man, this is another game. I don't really love this line. I, I, mean, I would say I like Seattle Seahawks at home. Um, minus six and a, minus six points. That seems like a lot, but the Rams they didn't seem like they could play at all. Like their offense was 
totally done last season, you know. I don't know if that was injury or just the players after the Super Bowl win. They just don't seem like they, they're there anymore. But you know what? I don't want to skip every game. So I'm going to, because it's a teaser, I don't mind Seattle, especially being at home. And we're going to probably get plus like three points because this is going to be like a nine point teaser. So I'll take Seattle at home. Next game will be the Miami Dolphins on the road getting two and a half points versus the Los Angeles Chargers. I always feel like the Los Angeles Chargers are overrated. I like Miami. I feel like Miami, didn't they go on the road last season and they beat... um. The Ravens, that was like a, a great game. Miami, they have they have way too much other offense, especially if you're going to give me plus points to start with. I'm going to take Miami plus uh, two and a half points, tease that up to like 11 points, or not 11, um, around 10 points or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to take Miami. I like Miami there. Philadelphia Eagles versus the New England Patriots. The Eagles on the road, minus five. Because this is is a teaser i'm gonna take the eagles on the road i'll um add about five or about eight points to this line maybe nine points so we'll get the eagles at like plus three plus four points which is pretty fair for me i feel like the eagles should win this game um i don't know what's going on mac with mac jones they wanted to trade him did he want to get trade he's going to other coaches for coaching i don't know what's going on there so the patriots could have a big problem not an easy division right not an easy division with the bills the um dolphins and the Jets, so, you know, we'll see what's happening with the Patriots this season. They did not make the playoffs. Did they make the playoffs last season? I can't remember, but they weren't a good team. So, even if they did, they probably didn't do much. Next game will be the Dallas Cowboys giving three points to the New York Giants. How about that? This is this is a tough one. I feel like the Giants, they had a great season last year, right? The Giants were really, really good. I can't remember if they made the play. I, I literally don't remember the playoffs last year. Even It was like seven months ago, right? So it's been a while. I have to remember all of this stuff very soon. Um, but you know what? It's week one. It's going to be a close game, right? It's a division game. Usually these games are under seven points. I, I, I have no idea, actually. I'm just throwing that number out there, right? But for the most part, division games, you play this team twice a year. Games are a lot closer than other games. You know, there's always a blowout here or there, but this is going to be a close game. Giants at home already getting three points. I don't love the Dallas Cowboys. I like that defense, but I like the Giants. So I'll add points to the Giants. Um, I'm going to tease the Giants and add, you know, like seven, eight points to the Giants. Get the Giants like plus 10, plus 11 points. Um, the next game and the last game of NFL Week 1, 2023, will be the Buffalo Bills versus the New York Jets. I'm just going to start off by saying I'm going to skip this game. Like, I'm not, not obviously, I'm not betting on this game. It's going to be uh, Aaron Rodgers' first game as a as the um, starter quarterback for the New York Jets. They're getting plus one points. I don't know what's going on with Buffalo Bills. They ended their season not in a great way. I heard reports about uh, Diggs not showing up to, like, training camp the first day or two or something like that. And then Jared, uh, uh, Josh Allen, excuse me, Josh Allen, the quarterback, saying he was taking the blame for Diggs not being there the first. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It, it feels like the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams, they may be going through kind of similar breakdowns, right? Like if the Buffalo Bills don't do good this season, this could be, you know, Diggs, I don't know if he's going to demand a trade or something, but it just seems like it, it's breaking down there. Just like with the Patriots, I don't know what's going on. Josh Allen, he is on the cover of Madden. There is the quote-unquote Madden curse, right? Aaron Rodgers, him starting for the Jets. The Jets have a great offense. The Jets do have a lot of weapons on offense. So I would lean towards the Jets. Should I take the Jets? Because we're going to be adding points. Um... You know, I mean, yeah, we might as well. Right? I, I, I convinced myself to take the Jets, right? Because we're adding pl points, Jets are already plus one and a half. We're going to be adding nine, eight, eight, nine points to this. So, I mean, if the Jets lose this game by almost double digits, their first game, then you know what? It is what it is. What it is. They're going to have bigger problems than me losing this bet. So, I'll take these 12 bets. It should be fun. Um just to start the NFL season. I will be making another NFL Week 1, 2023 NFL Week 1 
picks. Um, we're just doing this right now because we have early lines out. Like I said, the preseason hasn't started yet. Um, so, like, right before NFL Week 1, I'll put out another video a lot closer with a lot more information on who's starting, who's not starting, who's injured for each team. But we have a 12 team. We're going to do a teaser bet, as I said. Um, uh, how do you do? Multiples. Oh, it's on the multiples. That's embarrassing. Um... So the the cool thing about Bovada is that they offer insane teasers. Like you can see like the first teaser because this is a 12 team is a 8 point teasers. Most teasers that I've seen has been 6, 7 and 8 points, but if you see with Bovada Bovada off, offers up to a sweetheart teaser of 13 points and it's plus 400, right? So that's not bad. Like I said with the season starting Almost two months from now, I'm you know I might as well take plus thirteen points with a teaser. So most of these lines are gonna move pretty, a lot more right than look. I mean look at the Giants plus sixteen points. That seems insane, right? Like that seems pretty fair. Um, okay, so we'll go with this. We're gonna go NFL Week One picks. We're doing a teaser. So these lines have been moved in basically my favor. We're gonna take the Seattle Seahawks at home. Plus seven points versus the Los Angeles Rams. We're going to take the Baltimore Ravens at home. Plus three and a half points versus the Houston Texans. We're going to take the Jacksonville Jaguars on the road. Plus nine points versus the Indianapolis Colts. We're going to take the Atlanta Falcons at home. Plus 10 points versus the uh, Carolina Panthers. We're going to take the San Francisco 49ers. Plus ten and a half points on the road versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're gonna take the Minnesota Vikings at home plus six and a half. Oh, six and a half. That, watch that be the one bet I lose. <laughs> watch the Minnesota Vikings lose by seven. I mean, oh, come on. Uh, we'll take Minnesota Vikings at home plus six and a half to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're gonna take the Cincinnati Bengals plus ten and a half. On the road versus the Cleveland Browns. I like that. That that should be fair. Miami Dolphins getting 15 and a half points. I mean, come on, right? Tua, please don't get injured, right? So 15 and a half points um, on the road versus the Los Angeles Chargers. We're taking the New York Jets, the New York Jets, the New York Giants plus 16 points at home versus the Dallas Cowboys. Taking the Philadelphia Eagles who went to the Super Bowl um, last season. Plus 8 points on the road versus the terrible New England Patriots. We're taking the New York Jets this time. Plus 14 and a half points. 14 and a half points versus the Buffalo Bills. Um, and then we're going to take the uh, defending Super Bowl uh, champions. The Kansas City Chiefs plus 6 points. Versus the Detroit Lions, uh, Kansas City Chiefs are at home. Um, I must have to bet. I don't, you know, I don't want. To, this is just a fun bet. I'll do like a dollar sixty or something like that. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's do maybe two dollar. Oh, hold on. What did I do? Oh yeah, there we go. Two dollars and like sixty. Whoa. Two dollars and like sixty cents, just to have a little bit of fun. Um, you know, if we could win ten dollars, that would be great. These lines are kind of crazy, but we'll bet just a quick two dollars and sixty cents to win ten dollars and forty cents. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my twenty twenty three NFL Week One picks. We did a sweetheart teaser, thirteen point teaser. Like I said, most sports books they offer six, seven point teasers, maybe even eight point teasers. But Bovada offers up to a thirteen point sweetheart teaser. Um, we're gonna take the Seattle Seahawks plus seven, the Baltimore Ravens plus uh, three and a half, the Jacksonville Jaguars plus nine points, the Atlanta Falcons plus ten points, the San Francisco 49ers plus. Um, Ten and a half points. The Minnesota Vikings plus six and a half. The Cincinnati Bengals plus ten and a half. The Miami Dolphins plus fifteen and a half. The New York Giants uh, plus sixteen points. The Philadelphia Eagles plus eight points. The New York Jets plus fourteen and a half points. And the Kansas City Chiefs plus six points. Um, let me know what um, picks you have for NFL Week One. Who are your locks? 
Who are your favorites? Who are your favorite favorites? Who's your favorite home team? Who's your favorite road team? Who's your um, um, pick of the week, your lock of the week? In which game do you think you're going to see an upset? And which game are you looking forward to most? I would say there's a lot of games I'm looking forward to, truthfully. I definitely want to see what the Jacksonville Jaguars look like this season. What do the 49ers look like on the road versus the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers? Um Minnesota, we'll see what happens with them and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. That should be a fun game. That's going to be an interesting, fun game. Miami Dolphins versus the um, Los Angeles Chargers. I definitely want to see that game. Giants and Cowboys always. We want to see what the uh, Philadelphia Eagles look like after the Super Bowl loss. Um, their first game will be versus the Patriots on the road. And obviously the Jets, right? We want to see what the Jets look like at home versus the Buffalo Bills. We also want to see what the Buffalo Bills look like. Are the Jets the team to beat in that um, division? Or, or, or will it be the Buffalo Bills or Miami Dolphins, right? Who knows? But let me know your um, picks for the NFL Week 1. I'm Jason Bovada. These are my 2023 NFL Week 1 pick. We did a 13-point sweetheart teaser, 12-team sweetheart teaser, risking $2.60 to win $10.40. This is just a quick, fun Week 1 bet. We will be doing another Week 1 bet. Well, we, we won't be doing a teaser again. I'll probably do another teaser offline, but the next one will be Money Line and Against the Spread ATS bets. Um, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the $1 donation button, and please tune in to the next video on this channel. Thanks a million for watching.